you miss it. Wow! Wow! Man! <laughs> see that on the foot there, see that on the foot there, then that won't do what the god damn it, man. Hey, keep that jump. Oh. Oh. Man, you got to put, you got, you got, yeah, you got to put, you got to put Jake Elliott in there with that, all that kick power right there, 97 kick power. Wide open touchdown on Tony Pollard. <laughs> ah, let's go, with Jay. Let's go, with Jay. the Jacksonville Jaguars. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. themselves defensively you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves he'll be taken down well behind the line and i think he might have just given those four yards right back that second down play that's a minus four that's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. to throw 
And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. It's fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. On the return comes Cobb. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. 40 yard line. Time with Philip Lindsay. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. On first down, right back to Lindsay. A gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's got his target. It's Kyle. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They go back to the ground now with Lindsey. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Watson now to throw on third down. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackle down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try to run with Lindsey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles. And, it and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Philip Lindsay is a limited touchdown of the year. And the Texans have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Jamal Agnew now. Now a hit and a loose football. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texas touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. 
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First and 10 at their own 16-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And some space here. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. First down, Jaguars. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Pickup of three brings up second and seven at their 49-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Jaguars nothing. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Gun. They'll look to throw. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. DJ Shark, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything's working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's going on on the defensive yeah, side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. Throwing again on second down. Watson. It's complete to Chris Conley. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 27 yards there, a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First and ten, it's Lindsey. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 
Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On second and nine, Watson. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. And this came from the edge. And those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Dancing to his left. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson escaping the pressure right. And he will go down side of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Watson trying to get it to Cobb and it's intercepted picked off by the linebacker Miles Jack and nothing but daylight ahead and he will take this one home it's a touchdown so they had a good drive going a chance to build on this first half lead but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game and you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Ties the game at 14. Come on, guys. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. The kidder here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Good catch there by Randall Cobb. We know him as a longtime Packer who spent last season in Dallas. Now he brings his veteran presence to Houston, where he can help the young quarterback, Deshaun Watson, continue to develop. On first down. Lindsay, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. At the 40-yard line. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. 
forced out to his left. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Here's Watson on third down. And able to find Conley. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off of play action, it's Watson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Again, it's Watson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. the gun Watson flush to his right and incomplete Watson on the keeper brings up third down and so the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three Watson now to throw screenplay Johnson and he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And no move to get the offense. Fourth and one. Snap it to Watson. That's complete right around the eight. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? Play college mind right now. A potential fumbled snap that can get returned. A strip. And he fires one that's intercepted. Nixon. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. That was a nice catch, and not by the guy you thought it was going to be. How about the defender turning into an offensive player as soon as the ball hits his hands, and off he goes, off to the races, and into the end zone. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. first half as the kicks away the 16 yard line cars come to the line to start their next drive and the ball backed way up so thinking with this amount of time on the clock probably just sit on it 
And we'll see these two teams go to the line. And get on out and talk about it. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. DJ Chark, first time pro bowler, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. So we have reached halftime report. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Ready at the line, set to get going. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Lindsey. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Watson gets one into the hands of Cobb. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Randall Cobb, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans will add on to their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And a loose football, and the Texans scoop it, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. Some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, 
it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. That's to his running back complete. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line on fourth down. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsey. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. They'll run with Lindsey. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Philip Lindsey, the second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans will extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Fielded in the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. in the air looking up into the roof and he muffs it it's loose and he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. At their own 19 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive and they gave up the pick six and now they'll be looking to right the ship here now as a quarterback are you a little more cautious this go around you should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. The drive starts with a completion, left side. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield.